Well, good morning, Darkfish Rally friends. It's the final day of Rally Estonia. One stage down already this morning. That little super special right next to the service park in Tartu. It did claim, sadly, Pierre-Louis Lubé. He collected a rock, broke his suspension and has retired. Very disappointing for Pierre-Louis Lubé. Tell you what, though, what you'll notice, these boys scraping away. It was only a six-kilometre stage. The amount of mud that they've picked up on that stage is really quite something and uh, Thierry and Martin have been scraping away for the past four or five minutes I'd have to say but it does add up doesn't it and, you know, the weight of, the, of all the mud adds up it adds up uh, I don't know how much it is now but uh, it's easily 20 to 30 kilo I think so Jeez, on such a short stage as well um, interesting day this isn't it you know it's, it's, it's a relatively long day for a Sunday but you know a lot of driving around yeah it's a long day and again the weather is going to be unstable this afternoon so this is maybe a chance for us to grab a position. <laughs> so a position and and potentially those five extra points. You know, are you worried about the points these days or is it more about the positions? Well, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, uh, yeah, let's see what's the outcome of the rally at the end. And, uh, and then we're going to see uh, where we end up. Um, uh, obviously, it's another difficult event to come for us in Finland, but then... Uh, yeah, after that, Ipo agrees. Uh, hopefully, we are right back in the fight. Yes, they will be. There we go, Jeremy Ville. Thank you very much. He's such a gentleman. Always, always, always got a minute or two for us. Thank you, Thierry. Uh, now, further up there are the Toyotas. We'll head that way. So here we go. Our two leaders of Rally Estonia. Well, two leaders. There's only one leader, isn't there? It's Kali Rovenpera, Yoni Halsinen, Elvin Evans, Scott Martin. You know, as... Thierry said to us, we are expecting some weather. Anything could yet happen. And don't forget that Elvin had a fabulous opening day here uh, and lost 20 seconds in that final short stage. So Elvin will know anything can happen. Kali Rovenpera looking supreme again out there this morning. He will know that he'll have to bring his A-game to the remaining five stages of this rally. Uh, yeah, you know, it's... it's uh, Cali that's very much on top of it. Again, a lot of scraping, a lot of months. 20 or 30 kilos is what Thierry said to us. I don't think there's that much, David. Do you think 20 or 30 kilos of mud there? Maybe not quite. Maybe five or six kilos. Maybe we'll... Hmm? <laughs> Cali Robinbear just changing the uh, settings on the suspension there. Just a couple of clicks, perhaps. That's interesting, isn't it? So he set the car up for that opening stage. Maybe didn't feel quite right to him. I will ask him about that in just one second. That's really interesting. Really interesting. Let's have a look here. Come this way as well. David's got another point. Well, look, Toyota's gone with a egg flipper. What do you call those things? You turn eggs with those, don't you? It's not, not a spatula. It's a... What is it? Yeah, but, but that's a weight thing, David. That's really clever. That's really clever. Yeah, but, yeah, but Hyundai got a, like a window scraper, hadn't they? Well, it's a solid one. This one's, you know, slatted, I think is what you would call it. And it's, again, it's just a weight thing. You know, slats have got... That's why I used to turn the eggs in the morning. I don't think you've been anywhere near the cooker in the morning, David Evans. How do you like your eggs in the morning? Uh, remember, there's no service in this loop. Just under 80 kilometres, no service. So, you know, difficult, I suppose, to set the car up. Normally, it's a compromise. Whenever you set the car up for a group of stages... It is a bit of a compromise. You might well be looking to make a few changes to the setup in between stages. This is quite a long road section. Gives the drivers a little bit of time to do any work that they might have to do. 15, 20 minutes, I guess, is what they've had here. So swapping the tyres around. Again, it's a lot of work after 6Ks. A lot of work going on but as I said before plenty of time plenty of time to do this good morning Elvin uh, you know a short stage to start the day Cali's obviously made some changes to his setup how do things feel in your car yeah all okay but obviously it's quite a different stage to to the rest so yeah but you haven't made those changes that Cali's made to the the ride height or to the clicks I don't know what he's done but we've done some changes as well yeah oh, he's done some changes as well I'm feeling good there we go, that's Elvin Evans. Always very focused, isn't he, Elvin? And rightly so. Rightly so. Let's go and have a little word. Where did he do those changes then? Ask him. We grab a very quick word with our rally leader. Oh, and he's back on the well, actually. Back to the busyness. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, but it doesn't stop when you're at the top, Callie Rovenbera, does it? 
you think Lewis Hamilton has to do this in Formula One or Josh Verstappen? No, they don't. Do you think they could do it? Ma what? <laughs> 20 years ago, Josh Verstappen had to do the same thing. Do you honestly think that if they were asked to do it, that they could do it? I don't think they could. Ah, uh, it depends. For sure, they. I think they know also how to do something, but it's not uh, on their job list to do this. They're not as mechanically aware as you are, that's for sure. Um, was this always the plan, to change the ride height before this stage? Yeah, it was the plan. So feeling good, other than, you know, out this morning, no real concerns. We hear the weather might come in again, but, you know, you've dealt with that very well so far this week. Yeah, should be okay. Good, good, good. We'll leave you to it. There we are, Kylie Robin Perra. Um, as I said, plenty of time on this road section. So we grab a quick word with Yoni? It's always good to have a word with Yoni. Look, working away, you guys always get the messy jobs, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking to Thierry earlier on. He reckoned up to 20, maybe 30 kilos of mud from such a short stage. Not as much as that, surely. Well, if you think the whole car, I think easily. Easily because, but they are under the sump cars and everything. So that's nothing we can do. So we just do what we can. Fantastic. You leave all of this technical stuff with the settings. You leave all that to Cali. Ah, uh, not all, but we have this thing that uh, he has his part and I have mine, so this is his part, so yeah, we have our own routines to do. Does it well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does, he does. <laughs> and if he gets it wrong, it's his fault and not yours. There we go, what a wonderful team this is. Um, five more stages to go, as I have already mentioned. Now, this next stage, if you remember back last year, is the one where Oitanak had, well, all of his issues. So still jeopardy out there this morning. Potentially that rain coming back in at lunchtime. We'll see what will happen through the course of the morning. But I have to say, uh, this is one of those wonderful, unique sights that you get in rallying that you really don't get in many other forms of motorsport. Our two leaders at the side of the roads in rural Estonia, not Davis making the point, and he's absolutely right. He is a wordsmith. You cannot have two leaders. You can if they're on joint times, but we only have one leader. Our leader and our chasing Elvin Evans at the side of the road. I love it. Rural Estonia, wonderful to see. Uh, good luck, boys. Thank <laughs> you.